an order form for the note. Now on to scene and a question. Jana, where are you? is a very nice house. It's clean. It's big. It's expensive. Secure. So is a prison. Home. It's warm, it's neat and tidy, and doesn't have a point of view. She'll always look her best. Appearances are all important. I should be proud of our silicone kitchen, where the chips are in the machines, but never on our plates. One day, Jana, all this will be yours. Hello? Come on. Come on. Please! They've worked hard for it. I'm a lucky girl. Sorry, Mummy. I like Dad. You're all right. I dropped a cup, that's all. She phoned again. I know it was her. The little bitch hung up. She never spoke. She's frightened. She could say she was OK, that's all. Maybe she's just making sure we're OK, yeah? Yes, of course. Cool. He knows we're different. He's paid for me to be different. <laughs> If I grow up to be like Dad, he'll have failed. Okshot's detached confidence <laughs> trick will have gone wrong, and I'll have been the great disappointment. It's all private round here. School, medicine, roads, and feelings. All private. She'll be back, you'll see. When she's ready, she'll be back. Promise. Promise. He wants only the best for his wife and daughter. Providing is all important. Poor dad. Oh, God. 
Nothing ever changes. I left home about six weeks ago. Came back from school, washed, changed, and went. I'd had enough of being grateful. When I said we ought to shoot the horse and make it into hamburgers for Africa, Dad laughed. Mum thought it was an ungrateful thing to say. A kind of freedom. Got any money, she said. Her name was Sue. She spelled it out, S-O-O. -O. A disguise, she said. So what's in her name? Date of birth, home address, and anything else I want to know. Have you got enough for the hamburger? Breakfast. One will do. We can share it. Not a pretty sight. Whatever do you think you look like, Jana? Whatever do you think you look like, my girl? I wonder how he dealt with it all. Brave face for Mum. One of the lads with the police. Poor Dad. Dad? Jenna! Is Dad here? Come on. I can get more. I just didn't have much on me. Didn't seem important at the time. You put a lot of people to a lot of trouble. I'm sorry. That's it, is it? We'll talk about it later. And look at the state of her. Do you know what you look like, Jana? Yeah, like me. Where are you going? To my room. It's still there, isn't it? Bloody hell! What am I supposed to look like? Ah, oh, great. I'd been to London before. I was born there. I'd been on my own. I'd been with Martin. Poor Martin. That was one of the best meals I'd ever had. Ah, oh, great. <laughs> I wasn't being missed yet. No one was worried. They all thought I was at school. Except for the school. They thought I was ill. No one plays truant at my school. If they do, there's always another word for it. This is good. I can be whoever I want to be. Like Rat. It's quite disgusting, you know. <laughs> Oh, God. We can take you to a shelter, if you like. Oh, well, you can stay with us. No. What are you going to do? Work, if we're lucky. Work? Now? Shut up, Pete. Dad. Sorry. Rat badger wrong. What's 
is she on about? It's from Wind in the Willows. We know. We can read, you know. Sorry. It's all right, this place. To take you from you. They don't like regulars, so we find alternative accommodation. Don't tell me, she said. I don't want to know. I don't want to know your name or nothing. I shouldn't ask, eh? It's Jana, I said. A bit silly, really. Dad wanted to call me Joanna, and Mum wanted to call me Anna. So they settled on Jana. No one asked me. Try harder. You're a big girl now. Be nice. Be understanding. Be... Oh, God. Jana. I like that. All right. Yes, thanks. He's supposed to have come from Where have you been, Jana? Here and there. To stay with his aunt and his dog. Where? Does it matter? Of course it matters. We were worried. I called the police. We had to report you as missing. Brilliant. Why did you do it? Why do you think? I don't bloody know, Jana, do I? I honestly don't know. We love you, we've given you... You're a horse and I'm grateful! We've always loved you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I upset you and Mum. I'm sorry if I dropped you in it with the neighbours. I don't give a toss about the neighbours. I've been up to London twice a week for six weeks hoping I might find you. Showing photographs to silly buggers who would stop noticing people like you. Jana, where are you? Something like that. Dad, I... I learnt things. Yeah? I just got far enough away to see it all properly. To see what, exactly? You and Mum, me. We used to need subtitles to understand each other. So I stopped talking. What, Jana? I don't know. Martin's been round. Oh, God. He's a bit of a stayer, isn't he? I'll see him at school. He'll be there, waiting, halfway up the drive. We have bike sheds. <coughs> Not that many of us have bikes. Whatever do I look like? I don't know. Pretty, I reckon. Was he anxious, then? Or was he jealous? Poor Martin. He was worried, like the rest of us. Well, I'm back. I'm back. There you go. Aren't you coming with me? I've told you. They won't let me in. I've been here before. Anyway, I've got someone else to go. Well, what do I say? Tell him you missed your last train home. I didn't know what it would be like down there. Mugs of hot tea, probably, and awful songs like in those old war films. Yes. Find home? Told your parents? They're away. On holiday? Yes. I see. And you've lost all your money? Yeah. Good luck. Sue? Yeah? Still got your place? Sure. Any hassles? I'm all right. Drop in for a chat sometime, OK? I will. Bye. Name? Um, Kate Green. Name, address, age. 16. My first real lie. It was easy. They knew I was lying. It was part of the deal. Address. All very grown up and mature. You lied as long as you were in control. The moment you told the truth... Cambridge. That was it. They'd got you. Three days, they said. I could have three days here, then I'd have to sort myself out. I didn't want three days. Thank you very much, I lied. Would you like to take a blanket through there, love? Turning in my bed, breaking the silence. 
I missed Sue. The boy with the guitar looked nice, sort of dangerous and in control. I can't even play piano. If they dropped the bomb now, I thought, we'd be all right down here, hidden away and invisible to the planes. Mum and Dad would probably bleed to death shredded by the patio doors. Excuse me. Excuse me, you're crushing me. Have you got a fag? Sorry, I don't smoke. He'd be one of the survivors, I thought. We've got a big house and leaves. All we had to do was sit here and wait for the all clear. But that's a surgeon at the infirmary, a consultant or something. He doesn't really need to be here. He just comes down to try out his stuff. He does all the shelters. It's sort of his circuit, you know. I'm his manager, yeah. We've got to make it, me and him. Big time. I used to wait the dark, though. When it's all over, I thought, the guy with the guitar would lead us all out of the shelter. We'd follow him from shelter to shelter, him playing his songs as more and more of us climb up into the light. believe you. Please yourself. If I were a spider, I'd crap all over her carpet. We had the people from the papers round. Did you cry for the photographers? It wasn't fun, if that's what you're thinking. We were to be pitied, like there'd been a death in the family, only there wasn't a funeral for everyone to say how sorry they were. No, I didn't cry for the bloody photographers. Do you want some help? I can manage. Why didn't you go with Dad when he went to London? I did, a couple of times. Then I stayed at home in case you phoned. Anyway, I wasn't much use. I kept seeing you. You were always there, somewhere. Where? And it wasn't you. Were you cold? Sometimes. I was all right. Did you... Did anything happen you ought to tell me about? Like what? You know. Ask me, please ask me. You're not exactly a child anymore, you know. I wasn't when I left. I know that. <sighs> Nothing happened. Good. Good. Martin, how nice to see you. Oh. God, go away, Martin, please. We're busy. We're talking. Jana? What have you done to your hair? Hello. Don't say it, Martin. You look different. My hair. Do you like it? Yes. Liar. You're quite famous now, I suppose. They tried to say you ill at school. Then they said you were unfortunate. We said a prayer for you once. We had a talk in assembly all about it. You made me feel a proper idiot. Were you worried? Yes, I suppose I was. I knew you'd be all right, though. <laughs> None of that awful headline horror stuff, you know, a corpse found in cops. Well, that's all right then, isn't it? Jana? Do you have to call me that? Well, it is your name. Oi! I have got a name, you know. Oh, yeah. Cat. That's 
see you then. Tiddles. See you. Cat. I'd rather be called Cat. Even cats have names. Tiddles. Told you she'd be all right. Safe and sound, eh? How do you know? Of course she is. She's just a bit confused, that's all. She's adjusting. Six weeks. Where was she for six weeks? I don't care, Tina. Not today. She's home. We're together. They were never back at school, you know. A bad influence on the rest of their precious brats. Oh, if she'd been the vicar's daughter, if she'd been one of Lady Muck's bitches that have had her back like a shot. Or if they'd found her out in a field somewhere. If she'd been abducted, it's not bloody fair. I'll sort it out. I should be asking you things. Well, ask her then. I've tried. She says she's all right. She is then. And what about us? We're going to be OK. Yeah. I met some really nice people. Blokes. Would you have come with me? Come on, Martin. If I'd have asked you, would you have come with me? Well, it wouldn't have been very romantic, would it? <laughs> not looking for romance, mate. Were they blokes, then? These nice people. One day, Jana, all this can be yours. Oh, God. Yes. I knew I'd find them again. It's the center of the universe. Everything is somehow attached to it, spinning round and round. Thought I was hungry, but free. I wasn't missing home. You still here? I'm not going back. Maybe. Come on, let's go. We ran through the traffic, through people. Nothing could touch us. I don't know if the police followed us. It didn't seem to matter. I just ran and ran until suddenly I was in another world. Everything had changed. I was living there. Mum answered. She sounded anxious, like those women on television talking about some personal tragedy, like the American wives waiting for the hostages to come home. I never spoke. All right. They're still there. Who answered? Mother. And they're there. Afraid so. Yeah. Mum always answers when I phone home. Sometimes I do it just to hurt her, to make her feel something, to make me feel better. Maybe, I think, maybe if they didn't answer, I might go back. You know, go back, try and find them. So what do you reckon, then? Brilliant, I said. And it was, because it was all hers. That shares with me when he needs to. 
But it's not what you think. She said that I could stay for a while, but that sometimes I'd have to disappear. She'd need the room to herself when she had visitors. It was right at the top of a sort of hotel in Bayswater. She said the manager didn't mind who stayed. Are you hungry? Go home, Martin. I thought we might go out. Where to? I don't know. Just out. Celebrate, sort of. Maybe I ought to chuck him out with the clothes. Or hang him up in the wardrobe and save him for a rainy day. I kept all the newspapers. I'll give him to Oxfam. Do you want to stop seeing me? Yes. Do you mind? Well, of course I mind. I mean, I'm going to look pretty damn silly, aren't I? You're back and we're finished. How do you think that's going to look? Pretty damn silly. Go away. Please go away. Well, see you around then. Yes. Bye. Just for now, just for a bit, I'm going to stay here, in my room. Just me. Sorry, Martin. We're not, after all is said and done, suited. She's not come out yet? No. Martin's gone. Good. I like Martin. He's a prat. Now what? She always spends hours up there on her own, Tina. They do. Just let her get on with it. We should be together, getting back to normal. This is normal. Oh. Tina! I'm going to talk to her. No! <gasps> why? Because I'm bloody terrified, that's why. Jenna! Jenna! Tina! Jenna! Please, love, please, come on. Jenna! <gasps> I'm sorry. Sorry. Go on. Go on. Why don't you try some of your flashery charm on your little girl and see if you can hold on to her? It's all right. We'll be all right. It's all right. You've always got to look your best. She'd left home two years ago when she was 12. I was a bridesmaid at 12. People like you better the better you look. Well, I like me better anyway. Are you, are you going to come back tonight? See how it goes, eh? Don't wait up. You can have the bed. Thanks. When I first came here, the manager told me if I didn't have enough money for the rent, I could work for it. He said he could fix me up, casual. And he does. Anyway, I'm a bit broke just now. <laughs> Don't worry. Have you got a boyfriend? Martin. French kisses that taste of spearmint and aftershave. No. Oh, well. See you then. Bye. One day, Jano, all this could be yours. I thought you were brilliant. I thought we were all brilliant. The boy with the guitar, Sue, Rat, getting money, brilliant. Sue's old enough to be my mother. Look, it was time to go. Oi! Shut up, rat.
Is it all right if I paint my room? That's it, then. I've got all the time in the world. 